Okay, guys, where we just left off was one of the newest things that we did, and we just did it like a week ago, right? And what we did was make it possible to switch between the format for the subdomain to the folder, okay? That was cool, but then my guy came back and said, Dave, it's, it's great beginning, but for 900, I want to be able to create different URL combinations. And I'm like, why really? I mean, these are all different words. What difference does it make? They're all unique said that's the whole point Google already has enough like folder based links they want to throw the subdomain one in there or they got a few subdomains they want to throw the folder one in there that goes one level deep and he said that, you know and the way he puts it is you know Google's like a big um, hole you know throw in different colored marbles <laughs> in other words if you want to fill Google up fill it up with variation we already did variation on images variation on content uh, we can totally do all of that. But one thing that was very rigid was our URL structure. And so after debating it for a while, we said, all right, how are we going to go about that? Well, let me show you what this kind of looks like so you can understand what we did next. So here's the idea. Let's say we started with four cities, three services, and six keywords, right? How would you use that format with one URL breakdown? Well, let's say we were using this format. And by the way, I don't know if this is big enough. Maybe I should make it bigger, right? Just, yeah, okay, fine. All right, four cities, three services, six keywords. So what would the format be? We have four choices for the city, three choices for the service, and then this, of course, is just the domain, you know, where we're putting all this, so it's the same domain. And then we have six different choices for the keywords, and we want all the combinations. If anyone doesn't know, the idea is this. Any company does a number of things that services where a number of keywords apply, like if you think bathroom repair, then you've got a service. Bathroom, what repair? Sink repair, fossil repair, leaky. That would be the service would be like sink repair, fossil repair. Well, be keywords like leaking pipe, you know? And, and you're thinking plumber, right? This can apply to anything, whether it's a service or MLM, whether it has cities or just straight keywords, it doesn't matter. This could be for an MLM program with 10,000 members in it. It could be for a um, any kind of get rich quick program, it could be for any uh, plumber, any service industry, yeah, pretty much any website on the internet that's based on information, right? Getting somebody to call, getting somebody to fill in an email, getting someone to make a payment, getting someone to go here to continue, or creating other websites that point people into a main website, or even just creating lots of subdomains with the right keywords to get people to the root of the project where all the activity is actually happening. Everything important for them to join or do or buy. So anyway, if we want to use this format, city, service, and keyword, now to take care of this, right, to create pages for the combinations, then our URLs would be something like this. Here's a city with a service with a keyword, right? City one, service one, keyword one. That's kind of what you're seeing up here. City one, service one, keyword one. Natural bed bug removal is the keyword in this case. Local pest extermination is the service. The city is Andalusia. Now, then what could you have? You could have city two, service one, keyword one. City three, right? It's every city gets the same fair shot at the service and the keyword combinations. We're casting a massive net across all the services that we do for all the keywords we can think of that, that people are searching for in each city. We're, we're flooding the city with a page for every possible combination they could type that makes any sense at all. Okay, This is smart, and this is the way it's done. You did, the biggest sites like Roto-Rooter, with this method, you can create a site better and stronger than their entire franchise network on rotorooter.com within a week. Now, that's insane because they probably paid 100 grand when they got that built, okay? And it probably took them a year. You can beat them in a week with a shoestring budget, virtually nothing, okay? Now, let's say we move on and we say, okay, well, we're still going with the same four cities in the same you know, three services, but now we got keyword two for each of those combinations, right? Still city one, service one, but keyword two. City two, service one, but keyword two, right? So then what? Now we've got the same four cities, but we've got some other service. In other words, I got my dots here, right, to say what happens when we keep going down. Then we get to the end. 
city 1234 service 6 with keyword 5555 then city 1234 still service 6 with keyword finally 6666 that would be the end of the combinations right all of the cities times all of the services is 12 times all of the keywords is 72 individual pages that we want where every page is perfect for a combination of a city a service and a keyword just so Google can see somebody in the city whether they do a search for the service it matches or whether they do a search for the keyword it still matches city and keyword matches or city and service matches right if it was MLM then it would just be keyword maybe or maybe brand name and keyword something like that or if it's just a nationwide sellable thing that has no city emphasis right now having said all that what about other formats though right what if we could do folders inside of folders what if we could have pages in each different folder level alongside the subfolders that go deeper down that would look much more natural to Google because what if Google sees these 72 pages that are all subdomain based pages but there's only like one page in the root you know and the one page in the root would be what? That would be it. <laughs> if you had a second page, it might be something like, uh, you know, contact us. A third page could be buy now, you know. This could be buy now. This could be about us. Just whatever, right? And then this would be like about us, right? So you, you might have your pages that you built and polished and made marketable. And that would be your base, right? That's where you're getting people into your funnel, through your funnel, and out the other end, you know, and you're trying to make that happen. Uh, and so then all of these pages would do what? They would pitch to that location, that service, that keyword, and get, get people to continue. And that would bring them to wherever it is that you start them in your funnel, whether it's an index page or a separate splash page or whatever. You, you just use all these pages to point people there. So you're using a really wide funnel to get people to flow down the one spot, right? So that they can go through the process and maybe buy an hour, join your newsletter, whatever it is you want them to do, right? So what about other formats like folders inside of folders and pages inside the subfolders? Here's where Google starts to notice that the website is complete. Not just has it got all of the subdomain sections, the individual blocked off sections connected to it, but what if also we make this happen by the way that's exactly where we're going with all of our co-op projects yeah for all you guys who got in with locksmith for all you guys who are doing gdr for all you guys who are looking to auto towing and the other stuff we're getting into yep we can go back and add this stuff in easily now that we have the upgrades done it's not going to be hard so what's the point and, and again for everything else that oh you guys keep asking me and i take forever to answer it's because we keep getting caught up on this kind of thing along the way but this just came up it's awesome so check it out domain.com slash folder one okay then you get a keyword in there okay and then we continue domain.com slash folder one so this is like your first service with a keyword and then your second service with another keyword third service with, or I'm sorry first service first service first service with keyword one two and three right but then the first service might also break into a second thing that goes a little deeper so if this was like residential, then these could be keywords like uh, bathroom, plumbing, kitchen, plumbing, sump pumps, you know, or backyard or pool. But then if we go residential bathroom, we can get even closer. Now we can talk about the sink versus the tub versus the piping versus the whatever else. Okay. And so then you could get a little deeper. So you could have subfolders and then you could go even deeper with the tub is it an issue of rust or replacement or repair so then you have those keywords inside that folder right so when you can create pages just by lining up the sensible points you want to make the keywords the services the cities into a structure like this automatically google loves it because it sees folders that have pages in it oh and look a subfolder does that have pages in it or just more folders no, it has pages, and guess what? A third folder, another folder, and that has pages in it. So it's very, very simple to set this kind of a thing up once you get the idea, okay? So what about subdomains for all these combinations, right? Does that work? Yeah. 
What if you had city one dash service one dot, and then you had your main folder, whatever. So this could be like city one dash residential dash plumbing, whatever, and then domain.com slash. And then this could be again, like um, um, back, uh, bathroom or kitchen or um, sump pump or, you know, backyard pool, right? And then take a look. We could still have in that uh, subdomain section, in that one topic, we could have three keywords, but we could also break it down in the subfolder. Again, if this was like bathroom, right? Or kitchen, let's say kitchen, then folder four is kitchen. Great. Then we have sink. Uh, we have um, underneath the sink, whatever it is, faucet. We have different, you know, whatever it is there, right? And then what? Then we have again, like replacement, repair, you know, rusted out, whatever the issues are, um, new development. And we have keywords inside each of those things. Okay. Now, for any of you who think, wow, is it possible to create pages for all of these topics and they, they're meaningful? And the answer is, of course. We start by setting up the base project in the first place so that we know what we can trade out. So our pitch is such that it's about replacement or about repair. It's about sink or it's about bathroom. It's about this or it's about that. You know, kitchen, bathroom, sink, uh, toilet, faucet, right? Repair, uh, replace. Uh, new installation. So we have our framework pages that will cover thousands of combinations where we just plug and play the cities, plug and play the pretty much swappable service names, plug and play the pretty much swappable keywords. That way we have variation pages for all these things. And if you think that Google has a problem with that, mm -mm. all these pages I've been showing you back here, getting from something like this to something like that, is what this looks like in an industry. That's how these projects go. We've been doing this for 10 years now. <laughs> so yeah, we're really good at it. We know what's going on. And yes, we can do your projects for you. We do them for businesses, okay? We have business fees for business projects where we'll discuss it. Give me a call. Um, and for the rest of you learning how to do this yourself, or those of you who are just trying to figure it out, Check it out. Here's our second service, right? Same city one, but for all the, the second service. But then again, we've got our folders and then our subfolders, new ones now, maybe. And then our sub subfolders, right? Where we have our individual swappable keywords, right? So yeah, whole point is organize the stacks of keywords into ad groups. If you've ever done AdWords, it's similar. Take all your keywords, group them into related keyword concepts, right? And then group those into campaigns, right? Very much the same concept. And then you might run a variation of your campaign for each different city, right? So that's almost identical. As a matter of fact, for those of you who do do AdWords, like for a living, you get the quality score up high and that's how you make your money. This is amazing because it can help you take a single web page that you've been directing all your traffic to which probably isn't optimized for all those different keywords that you really want. And the same keyword list you use to create these pages or the keyword list you use to match the pages to the keywords for AdWords, right? If you've ever done a mass upload, a bulk upload of ad groups, you know, campaigns, ad groups, and keywords, if you've ever done that before, a bunch for campaign one, ad group one, keywords one through 100. And then you get campaign one, ad group two, Keywords 101 to 200, right? And then add group three, keywords 301 to 400, whatever. And then you have campaign two with add group one, two, three, and four, you know, those however many each, right? That's similar, right? And you can absolutely break it down. So then we have city two with the original service and the combinations. And then city two with the next service with the combinations that apply. Okay, so it's just a matter of organizing the base information and then kicking it out. So what's the point? We did this, update number one. That solves the question about how to get more pages into the root than the subdomains. That's where we just took um, the subdomain and flipped it to make it root like this. City-service.domain.com slash keyword.html became what? Domain.com slash city dash service slash keyword .html. totally cool by making that switch inside an excel file 
that we would upload to generate all the pages instantly and all the subdomains instantly so that all the pages are secured with HTTPS. All of that makes instant sense and it's very easy to do on the Excel file. Okay. Now, so on our Excel file, we just have a switch to either go this format or this format. What's the switch? Zero or one. Zero means for, let's say we have 500 rows, 500 different results we want to put up, 500 pages. And the first 250, we're using zero. That means don't change the format, leave it this way. But then the next 250, we're going to flip on the switch so that it actually switches it. So we'd have half our pages in the root and half in the subdomains. And if you're thinking, well, how do we get 70% in the root? Simple. Use zero 70% of the way down, say, 70% of the time. And then just, you know, the rest are going to be the 30% at the bottom, right? Fewer ones, more zeros. Means, uh, I'm sorry, fewer zeros, more ones to switch it, right? Means more pages in the root. Again, if you get it wrong, it takes a second or two to fix. Literally moments to fix it. Okay, that's the beauty of all of this. Now, that means you can also organize your sitemap for your liking. You can have it go all zeros and then all ones, or all ones, then all zeros, or zero one, zero one, zero one, zero one. You kind of saw that before, right? So update number two, that's where I'm gonna walk you through what we did next. It's total URL flexibility. Let's take a look at the new sets of Excel files that go into that. And all right, we're about 16 minutes, 50 seconds in to this part. So I'm going to go ahead and break this off, let you take another break, get the stuff in your head. Make sure you keep up with what's going on. Total URL flexibility on top of the system we already developed where we have total image uniqueness and total content uniqueness. And we can do it for anyone's website or a brand new website. And if we do it with a brand new one, um, of course, we can, especially if we use our system for it, then we can include an admin panel that's incredibly easy to use. And SEO becomes something we call minute SEO. What if you can make an adjustment to one page with variables that cascades the changes through hundreds of other pages or even thousands of other pages immediately with the variables? So every different city, every different service, every different keyword. Okay, you make one change to one page that cascades the changes for you and you just updated 500 pages, say, or 2,000. And what happens is that Google sees that you're active on your site. It sees that each individual page that it can find has been updated. Totally awesome. Once in a while you want to update your pages, but it's hard to update a 2,000 page website, isn't it? Not at all. <laughs> It'll take you five minutes to update 2,000 pages from end to end. You could hold your breath and make an SEO improvement that helps you rank better in no time at all. All right. So I'll break off. We'll do the next video after this. Take your time. Come back when you're ready. Let's see more.